Well, in other news, a father from Forest Park is accused of stashing cocaine in his son's coat to keep police from arresting him. The 41 year old man is in jail tonight after facing a judge today. Local 12's Brad Underwood is live downtown with details about the case. Brad. Well, good evening, Angela. Yes, uh, Kenneth Watson not only facing a felony drug trafficking charge, he's also facing drug possession charges, as well as a child endangerment charge after four of his own children were removed from his home. Earlier this month, the investigation began. Hamilton County Job and Family Services got the ball rolling, and a court order removed more than half a dozen kids from the Forest Park home of 41-year-old Kenneth Watson. Four of the children, police say, are Watson's biological kids. Those four were taken to St. Joseph Orphanage in Anderson Township. Yesterday, one of Watson's boys, a nine-year-old, told a staff member at St. Joseph's he found drugs in his coat pocket. Not a little bit of cocaine, but uh, over 16 grams of cocaine packaged in, in 11 separate baggies. Police believe the drugs were hidden in the boy's coat by Watson when the kids were removed from the home in hopes of avoiding a drug arrest. One officer spoke during Watson's arraignment today. The defendant was picked up by Renew yesterday morning uh, and even after all that I walked into an interview room and smelled uh, marijuana about the subject. There was a search warrant conducted at the residence uh, where additional evidence of drug trafficking was, was recovered. Uh, the place was filthy and uh, the environment there was so toxic that it was condemned by the fire department. The officer quoting fellow colleagues says the conditions were unlike anything they've ever seen. Now that same officer in court today also told the judge that several of those children who were inside that home told police that there had been a lengthy history of domestic violence as well as drug abuse. According to the Hamilton County Sheriff's Office, during an interview uh, subsequent after the arrest of Watson, he admitted to putting that cocaine in his little boy's coat pocket. Reporting live downtown, Brad Underwood, Local 12 News. Anjanette. So sad for those kids, Brad. Thank you.